The surface is fading. Surroundings darkening. The distance between rescue and myself is slowly becoming infinite. I'm going deeper as the waves engulf me. As I lose hope in salvation. A lot of the time, what drives humanity and drives life is motivation. And what people to understand about depression is that it's not just sadness and it's not just pain. If anything, the worst form of depression is not caring at all. And I think that that's what the voices in my head were telling me to do, is to not care anymore. And after, you know, a lifetime of feeling like no one even just looked, they glanced in my direction, these voices started to say, see, no one cares. And I think that those voices telling me to not feel anything anymore hurt more than them saying, you're ugly, or people think you're annoying, people think you overreact. It's just the concept of those voices saying, people don't care about you. The night that I tried to end my life was horrible, and a lot of it was a blur. I felt nothing but darkness and heaviness, and it was all flooding in at once. And I was just trapped in my own thoughts, and I was trapped in my own internalization of things out of my control. And I just felt my entire world crumbling. And the thought of me having to wake up the next morning and pick the pieces back up by myself was unbearable. I genuinely felt like the only way I could get better was to just not exist anymore. And that's when I realized, well, if I'm this alone, then why am I even here? And that was the time that I did attempt suicide. And of course, it didn't, it wasn't successful. And quite honestly, I am so, so glad that I failed in that moment. There was a world outside of my mind, and I was too stubborn and I was too depressed to see that until the next morning because seeing my mom, you know, casually say good morning to me and ask how I slept without an inkling of a thought that I had tried to kill myself that night, it just showed me that I needed to get out of my own mind and I needed to realize that other people mattered and other people existed just as much as I mattered and just as much as I existed, you know. For once in my life, even though I may not have had a tangible person understand what I was feeling, I was suddenly cognizant of a whole world of people that understood how I was feeling and were equally as alone as I was. And just the mere thought of people miles across, like thousands of miles across the world that lived in a different culture, lived in a different building, lived in a different city, in a different country, on a different continent, across a different ocean. Those people felt what I felt, and it was comforting. Whenever a person may feel insecure about seeking medical help for a psychological disorder, you know, whenever those people feel insecure, I think they should instead realize that that just makes them incredibly strong. Everyone has their own conscience and everyone else experiences the world and views the world and values the world in a different way. I realize that though people may have a completely unique lens that they view their life and the world in, we all still have similarities within ourselves that kind of, they act as links that keep us connected. And that includes depression, but that also includes happiness. That also includes love and marriage and finding your soulmate and, and finding your purpose. Finding that light again is what life is all about. I remember that we're all in this together. We're all confused and we're all sad and we're all scared. And we're all truly in the dark. 
I wasn't alone anymore. The rope shreds at your stiff hands. Just one second, only a minute more. You have no idea what is in store. Keep on reaching, hold on for dear life. Don't let these harsh winds dare to stifle the passion in your soul, the courage of your ways. We're all rooting that you live out all your days. With faith and confidence, with love and hope, it's only for now, this daunting and dangerous slope. It seems to slant opposite to you, but just keep in mind, at the end of this journey called life, peace is what you'll find.